question of how effective are magnetic filters on central heating systems and how easy they are to clean. I shall attempt to show you in this short video here, taken on an iPhone so the film quality is not necessarily perfect. And also I shall attempt to do it one-handed, which uh, may be a little feat in itself, but holding the phone and, and doing it one-handed should show that it's actually relatively easy. On the bottom of the filter, this particular filter, there's a drain off tap with a little cap on it. So if we undo that tap, uh, that, that cover, it goes on to the side there and becomes a, a valve head. So that, that will now turn the thing on and off under there. So underneath there, that connection actually fits a washing machine hose. So that, he said, try to do it one handed. Yes. Uh, handed we can still get that on there. So one washing machine hose connected to the bottom of that and into a suitable bucket or receptacle. We then have the system is completely turned off and no, no heating demand or anything. There are two valves here. Turn those 90 degrees to isolate the valve off and opening the valve on the side there will release the water out of the system. Now, we can actually clean the filter, uh, clean the magnet by pulling the magnet out of the top here and flushing water through the system. But I'm going to actually take the top off so we can see what's actually in the filter, see how effective it's been. So if I undo the top there, bearing in mind we have now both these valves turned off, and I take off the, the cap, we will have a look inside and hopefully we'll have some deposits. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, if anybody has any doubts as to how effective these filters are, trying to get that into a position you can see it in the light, uh, that is pretty disgusting. So we will, next we will take that off not to a white sink because that's going to be pretty mucky, but off to a, a drain or stainless steel sink. We'll pull the magnet out of the middle and we'll flush the, the magnetic uh, sludge off there. And that was done one handed. Right, once we've got to the sink and not a white sink, you note, uh, the magnet comes out of the top of there releasing all the magnetic sludge and if we run that under the tap you can just see how much has actually come off there. Yeah. You can see all the deposits. And there it is, the filter is cleaned, magnet back in and we're ready to go again. So there we have it, the filter has now been, now been cleaned off and the, oops, the lid can go back on, making sure it locates into its notches, there, there are notches at every, every sort of corner of the circle, that makes sense doesn't it, there's, there's, there's four notches around the thing. Put the lid back on. And they only need to be hand tight, but in a lot of these there is a spanner just to give them a tighten or to help loosen them. And that's it, and put close the tap off and open the valves and bleed the air out of the top there with a radiator key. Bleed the top, bleed the air out of the top from the bleed point. And that's it, that's completely cleaned. The other quick way of cleaning these is, is much simpler. It doesn't completely clean the stuff off the magnet, but go through the same process again. Isolate the, the valves off, open the, open the tap there with the 
with the hose attached going into some sort of some sort of bucket and with that like with that in that position you can then flush water through the system on that but if you take the magnet out whilst you do it if you take the magnet out you can flush that without emptying the uh, emptying the container completely and taking the lid off and it will wash the the iron sludge off the central core because the magnets are now taken out so you don't actually have to take the top off to clean them but that one handed in a couple of minutes is how to clean a magnetic filter and certainly shows how effective these things are if there's ever any questions about do they take out contaminants they certainly do and if you have a modern high efficiency boiler with very uh, very sensitive electronics uh, in them and, and, and sensors, uh, sensitive sensors in the waterways, they will get very badly affected by this sludge in the system. And in, in parts of the boiler there are very narrow waterways that this sludge will most definitely affect and damage adversely. And these filters, whatever make, they will protect your investment of your, your very expensive new high efficiency boiler. And as far as I'm concerned, they're pretty much a must on every installation. So if you haven't got some sort of magnetic filter on your, on your system, get one fitted. And if you're having a new boiler fitted, make sure the system is completely properly flushed and cleaned, uh, preferably power flushed before the new boiler goes in. And put one of these onto the system for ongoing protection to make sure that the boiler doesn't get badly affected. The other important thing of course is to make sure the system is is completely properly treated with corrosion inhibitor. The beauty of these filters also is that uh, as it is at the moment with the, the taps turned off there I can drain that container out and I can I can treat the system from here. I don't have to go into the loft to put things in the header tank. I can actually treat the system with corrosion inhibitor in here. Empty Furnox or Sentinel or or whatever other brands are out there uh, into the system for the future. And that, in a nutshell, is it. And if I can do that one-handed, I'm sure um, it shows how, how straightforward it is.